بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم یہ سر ایمانول ملونڈوا ہیں ساؤتھ تنزانیہ سے ان کا تعلق ہے ٹو ٹائم اولمپک باکسر ہیں میڈلسٹ ہیں افریقن چیمپئن بھی ہیں صحیح ہے اور پروفیشنل میں نائنٹین ایٹی تھری سے کام کر رہے ہیں تو ابھی دو ہزار تیئیس چل رہا ہے تو تقریباً دنیا کے ہر کونے میں یہ کورس بھی کروا چکے ہیں اور جتنی بھی فیڈریشن ہیں یہ ان کے لوگوں کو ٹرینڈ بھی کر چکے ہیں تو یہ تو اتفاق ہے کہ ہم سب کی لاٹری نکل آئی ہے کہ یہ آئیں ادھر ٹھیک ہے تو سر یو می پلیز اسٹارٹ نو اوکے وی ہیو گڈ شو ٹائم بٹ آئی ٹرائی ٹو ٹاک سولی بیکاز دا بوکسرز اینڈ دا ججز ریفری شوڈ بی سنکرونائز دے شوڈ نو واٹ دے آر ڈوئنگ بیکاز دا بوکسر گوز ان دا رنگ ایکسپیکٹ دس ون اینڈ دا جج از ڈوئنگ دس ون اینڈ دا ریفر از ڈوئنگ دیٹ سو یو مسٹ ایٹ لیسٹ نو واٹ ایگزیکٹلی آل دا پروفیشنل بوکسر ڈو وی اسٹارٹ ود دا بوکسرز بیفور دے اسٹارٹ دا فائٹ دے نیڈ ٹو بینڈیج دیئر ہینڈس Normally, for professional boxers, we prefer white bandages. I don't know if anybody's going to come with the bandages here. Bandages? Where are you? Bandages. Give them bandages, give them gas, give them tape, and give them a fight for one of the boxers. Who's the first fight? Do you have tape? Do you have tape? Tape, tape. Everything. Okay, that's it. Okay, basically, okay. You can make uh, some sort of a knuckle. Some sort of side. knuckle. Okay, but you cannot use tape <coughs> for the knuckles. This one can be as big as possible, as much as you want. The, 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 the bandage. It can be as many, big as much as you want. But when it comes to the tape, most of the organizations which have got titles, they want you to put the tape maximum this size. You put a finger here and the tape will end here. It has been found that the material which is on the tape is not good for the skin. So w when you want to bandage your boxer or the boxer wants to bandage itself, you have to press to put the, the normal goes before you put this band in, this plus on top. So you put the knuckles and put the, your bandage. Then you take a small step. Small step. Then you put this in here, here, here. That a boxer can be comfortable. And when you are, for example, you are a referee or judge, you are supposed to supervise, uh, to supervise the boxers well, before they go to the ring. Uh, you, should, you should make sure that they use the bandage is how I'm instructing and the tape. It shouldn't be the tape, just fill it. It ends here. <coughs> Some organizations, when you go to the boxer, they will tell you that they want to see the knuckles. But if preferably, try to use as much as possible these type of bandages. If there's no bandages, you do use different colors. The box like, will not accept normally different colors. So if you, it happens that way and necessarily use different colors, make sure after the fight, don't take off the gloves. You'll take the gloves somewhere else. But in the ring, don't take off the gloves because otherwise the box record will disqualify the, the fight. And if you have got the gloves which don't have, don't have laces, you just put the tape on, on top put the tape on top, but when you finish the fight, don't take them off. Just go and take them outside there. So that's a basic for bandaging and taping. It's necessary to have a gum shield. A gum shield is compulsory. <coughs> the gum shield. Some people call it mouth protector, mouthpiece. That is compulsory. A round cannot start without one. You, you, if it's possible, you can have two, but it's necessary to have one. Each round must have one, and that's what is expected of the referee. If, when you are fighting, the, the gum sheet falls down, 
the, the referee will stop when you, you are not fighting. You will stop the fight and take it for your corner to have it washed out and put, put against you. I've seen sometimes referee pick up just from the ring and put the box. I know it's not good for health. It's not good for health. And you just take it, wash it, and give it back. So this one, another thing is protect a cap. Protect your cap. Basically, it's not compulsory, but it's a must. Because you don't, you, you don't expect after you finish boxing, you can't make children, no. You need to protect, you need to protect your cape, protector cape. So if there's no protector cape completely, then maybe the referee can allow boxer to fight with the protector cape. But you can borrow it from somewhere. The protector cape is good for your health also. So, when, so what do you expect of the referee when he goes in the ring and comes to the corner? This, before the fight, he calls the center. He will go to the, to the boxer's corner and ask him, do you have gum shield? He will see the gum shield. Do you have a protector cap? He doesn't have to touch him here. What should he touch him? He asks him, do you have the protector cap? Yes, I have. That's enough for him. You don't have to touch him. Some referees just want to touch. No, it's no good. You just ask him. If he doesn't have, you ask him, why does he have one? If he has got good reason for not having one, then you can allow the fight to go ahead. Otherwise, take him, get him to go down and have an, a protector, borrow a protector cap and come in. But a pro, serious professional boxer, will, it's not stupid to go in the ring without a protector cap. You're a professional boxer. This is your life. And you go in the ring without a protector cap. You are not serious. You need a protector cap. I'm just reminding you. You need a protector cap to give gum shield. So the, judge, the referee will go to the corner and ask you, please, you have got a gum shield? Yes. Do you have got a protector cap? Yes. You look at your shoes. You don't have to go back and rip. What for? You look, you see, because a good professional boxer will not go in the ring with something which can hurt him. So a pro serious protector, a very pro serious professional boxer will not come with the shoes for a disco dance. He will not. So you don't need to ask him, please turn back and um, lift your I've seen how much our referees do that. And it's not good, actually. You, need to, you don't need to waste a lot of time when the boxers come in the ring. So when you finish up with them, you call them in the ring. <coughs> there are two, actually, there are not too many things to tell them. One, obey my commands all the time. Because you are not a coach. When the, re when the, box, the referee is in the ring, he's not a boxing coach. You have done your coaching in the gym. He expects to tell you, stop, and you stop fighting. Break, you move back and box. He doesn't have to tell you, you use your sense. No, there's something for the coaches. Him, he's supposed to just give a command and you follow the command. So he'll tell you, obey my commands all the time. Second thing he'll tell you, protect yourself all the time. Then he'll ask you, do you have any question? Probably you have a question. Probably the open came with, the, with the, his shot as much as here. So you trust the, the referee, please. The shot is up here. So how, where do I finish to hit? Will I be hitting only here? A referee tells you, no, 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 you can come as far here. You can hit, even if the shot is up here. So those are some of the things. Otherwise, they, they, you tell them to box. So this is how it should be done. Don't waste time. You're not there to lecture. A boxer and a box are fighting. It's unfortunate. When a boxer throws a punch, the other one was standing about. So the punch got him here. You don't have to stop the fight and tell the boxer, please don't, uh, don't hit him here. He, the punch was already gone. The punch had already gone. So you don't have to, Maybe if you want to tell the same time, you tell the one who turned back because the punch was already gone. But if the action is already passed, you come to realize after the fight, maybe three or four punches, it's ready. You start to the fight. Oh, stop. No, 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 no. If, you are, if there's an action you need to do, you do it immediately. You don't wait until they start another fight. action is started. That's when you remember, oh, this one, if you hit him right below belt, you know, you say, question. no. It should be as sharp as possible to do that one. So the boxers, you should not understand. A good referee will not penalize 
U for stand-up. He's not very tall. Every time he comes to me, he comes to his head up. And I'm, I'm blocked to the ropes here. Every time he comes to his head up, I'm blocked to the ropes. What do I do? If I leave him, he will come up and hit me there. So if a real professional uses his brain, he will just hold him here to make sure that this head does not come to hit him here. So if he holds you here and gives you two punches, I as the referee, I'll not do anything. I say, he's pro I told you, protect yourself all the time. So he, what he's doing is protecting himself all the time. I can't penalize him that way. And if this one boxer, every time he comes and he, he shows me, he's holding me, and he shows me this one. Referee said, no, 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 no. I'll ask him, what do you want me to do? This guy is holding you. It means he cannot hit you. So when you start showing me this way, instead of him punching him on the head, that he can leave you. I'm, I'm asking myself, am I referring a professional boxer or an amateur boxer? Because if he's holding me, he cannot hit me. That means I can hit him and he will just leave. All of you boxers know knows what happens if you are hitting all the, all the ears. But still, why should you ask me to help you this way when you are fighting, you could always move back? If he's holding you, means you are, you are, you are near enough to be held. But if you are moving back, Mohammed Dale is fighting, he's called back paddling. He fights and he's back. You, do, you don't have to hold him. So the referee will, will not basically penalize something which you as a professional can, can avoid. Those are basic words for refereeing. But when, like I told him, probably there'll be two more days. Then we can go serious issues of refereeing and serious issues of judging. But all you need to know, everyone needs to know that the judging system, the judging system is 10 point system. 10 point system. You cannot get more than 10 points. A serious judge will not score 10 against 10. A serious judge will score one, the winner gets 10, and the loser gets nine. So each round weighs by itself. Some boxers wait until they fought three or four rounds. The last one, he punches so much, then he says, I won the fight. No, 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 no. You should, every round is at its own stake. That's why when the round ends, the referee collects all the scoring card and gives to him. And the guy does the master. Let's take a, a simple bout. It's a four round bout. Him and me are fighting. Not too much, not too much action, but the round ends. When the round ends, Every judge I've seen, actually, though we are not fighting very well, not very strong, but he actually won that round. So he gets 10 points, I get 9, because there was no knockdown. In the second, it's the same thing. Oh, pushing each other. He wins in also the second round. He gets 10 points, and I get 9. The judges collect those points. In the third round, people start shouting, oh, you should punch him very hard, you know. You used to be an African champion, why are you losing? Then I said, no, no, this is serious, I'm losing. I start punching a bit harder. But still, he wins that round. So he gets 10 against 9 in the last round, the, tenth, the, the fourth round. That's when I said, no, now I think I must knock him out. All he has to do him is make sure he's not knocked down. That's all he has to do. He can move around. I tried to hide him very much, but no, they have not, I, I've already lost three rounds. So a boxer, boxer, try to think every round you're fighting, you've lost. Every fight, round you fight, you think that I've lost this round. Try to make sure as much as possible, win every round. Every round you try to win. 
Don't expect some coaches, some of coaches, they tell no, you've won this fight. How did I win it? You are not a judge. <laughs> you see, the good coach said, no, look, please. Put more energy, more straight punches or block punches and like that. But he, he should not assure you that you won the fight. No. Because then maybe the judges are seeing different. But you as a boxer should every time try to put as much effort as possible, as much effort as possible. Winning and losing is a part of sport, but you still try to put as much energy on your fight and like that. That's professionalism. So, we are talking about winning one point. When you're fighting, if you not, don't knock down your opponent, if you won that round, you get 10 and the loser gets 9. Nothing, nothing less than that. The difference will come when there's a knockdown. The one who has been knocked down, he gets eight points. Which means if you knock down somebody, you cannot lose <coughs> that round. If you can make it knock somebody down that round, you cannot lose it. Because everybody goes in the ring, expect to knock somebody out. So a knockdown is a process of trying to see that you can knock him, you knock somebody out. So whatever happens in a round, the one who knocked down the other one is the one who wins the round. That one should come in your mind. They could be fighting very well, but somebody just accidentally hit you a very good punch and you go down. You lost that round. It, what you have done, all the workhorse you have done, is nothing since you are knocked down. That is the first knockdown. If he knocks you again on the same round, it means the one who has been knocked down twice gets seven <coughs> points. Just imagine it's a ten point system. The first four rounds you win very feebly, nine, nine, ten, nine, ten, and you are knocked down twice in one round. That means you get ten against seven. It's very hard to, remove, to return those points. That's what you know. But under normal standard, even if you are knocked down more than two times, you should get the same, seven against 10. But there's some organization. When you are knocked down more than two times, you get six against 10. Very hard to return that fight. But sometimes when you are knocked down too much, the referee is there to protect you also. He will stop the fight. The referee will not wait until you are, you are knocked down 10 times or like that. A single knockdown can make the referee stop the fight. He's there to protect you. It's sometimes the, the referee doesn't need to see a knockdown to stop the fight. This makes a question, another question here. Yeah. <coughs> knockdown is knockdown is there knockdown is not there knockdown अब हम हमारे यहां तो एक कांसेप्ट है कि नॉक डाउन का मतलब है कि फाइट खत्म हो गई वो तो स्ट्रेचर पे किया नॉक डाउन मींस इनका ये है कि हार्ड पंच जब हिट होता है और पांव के अलावा बॉडी का कोई और पार्ट जो है ना रस्सों के ऊपर या फ्लोर के ऊपर टच हो जाए तो रेफरी काउंट स्टार्ट करता है दैट इज कॉल्ड नॉक डाउन प्रोफेशनल बॉक्सिंग में तो उसका एक पॉइंट वो राउंड फिर वो हार गया 9 10 था वो 8 10 हो गया देयर इज नो स्टैंडिंग काउंट no standing count. No, 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 no. Yeah. No standing count. No standing count. I repeat, this professional boxing, there's no standing count. If you stop it, stop the fight completely. Otherwise, let him get the enough punches to, to, to go down. Or protect him when he's getting too much punch, you stop the fight. You don't stop the fight and start counting him. No, you stop the fight when you feel now he, this one is not protecting himself anymore. You stop the fight. It could be only one punch. It could be two punches. He's hit very good punch. Then before he gets the another one, you see now this one guy. If he gets another one punch, yeah, there might be some, mm. something might happen. So you just stop the fight. So sometimes it's very hard for a referee. You can stop the fight too early. Or you can fight the fight. You can stop the fight too late. <coughs> yeah. Let's say we leave to judge the referees. Okay, you think about now, now this, but don't give him 10 count. Yeah. A good boxer, if he thinks 
during exchange, there have been too much punches. He can, bang, he can put the leg down to get a count, then he start fighting again. Yeah, but that is up to the coaches to teach them in the gym. Mm. So when you are hit so much, what do you, how do you protect yourself? But the referee knows there's no standing count. If you stop the fight, the end of it. You don't stop the fight and start like an amateur counting him when standing on. But once he's down, once he's down, it's called mandatory eight count. Once he's down, you give him up to one, two, eight, he must, stay, he must be up. That's called a mandatory <coughs> count, up to eight. Then you can say box. If he doesn't wake up, you reach 10, the end of the fight. Those are the best which you, all the boxers and the coaches need to know. Any question from boxers or coaches? Hmm. What's, what's this basically? There's some notebook about ring official training. Uh, whoever will be interested will get it from, from uh, the secretary here. Yeah. There are a lot of pages of the ring officials. He is asking if a four pound in, in a round, yeah. what will be the decision then? Which? In one round, if a boxer uh, knocked down four times. No, like I said, most of the organizations, after the second knockdown, you get 10 against nine, against seven. Any other knockdowns don't change. Score you don't change. They don't change. Score will be 10 seven. count. Bhi ho but remember, the round is only three minutes. If you can be knocked down four times in one round, the referee should have stopped the fight. Samaj lagi hai. Agar ek boxer ko ek round mein chotha mukka bhi lagta hai jisko wo nahi sambhal sakta, to referee ko chahiye ki uski jaan chhodaye fight se, bachaye usko maar se. Unnecessary punishment hai na phir to. Yeah, because you are knocked down, you come up, knocked down, you come up, knocked down, you come up. No, that's very serious. Agar ek boxer ko thoda sa lagta hai, referee usko mana kar raha hai. But it depends, still depends. I've seen some other fights. Uh, if uh, a boxer is struck with a hard punch, yeah. uh, but he, he wants to continue the fight. It was that? No, you are there to protect him. It's your duty. Yeah, it's a duty to see if, if he can still fight or he's just, uh, he's just useless. Because you don't know somebody hurt. Yeah. You could be sued as a referee for not protecting the boxer. Sometimes, that's why it's even better when you, you start referring the boxers, you ask them who is the official second. The one who is in change. Because you are there, there, but somebody who trains with him knows him better. So sometimes the one who knows him can throw in a, throw in a toll to stop the fight. And the boxers should try. Every time you come to the ring to fight, pick somebody who knows you. Not somebody, just a friend. You meet him there at the mm -hmm. gym, at the, at the arena, you, stay, you take him to second you. He doesn't know you. He doesn't know how much you train. He doesn't know your weakness. So he doesn't know when to protect you because the, the second he can stop the fight. Take proper somebody coach. who knows you. Proper coach, who is the second, he is the second. 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 Sir, before uh, uh, fighting, can use uh, any energy supplement or not? Instrument. Before uh, fighting. Yeah. He can use uh, some energy supplement. No. Most of us said you do you even at the corner on the plain water. Try to avoid using anything because there's this uh, you checking urine after the fight. Not every organization does it, but you should avoid substances. Remember, there's a day after boxing where you don't need boxing, you are old, maybe you're an old man, you need to rest, anything like that. Yeah. If you've been using drugs to energize yourself, they bring problem to you. Also for boxers, taking the weight too much down is not good health for health. That's why professional boxers, there are 17 classes. You think, now you cannot handle flyweight, you go to super flyweight. Or you go to bantamweight. You don't need to lose too much weight. 
completely. You can, if you had been training, then you've got a bite. Losing four kilograms is okay for bigger weights. But for smaller weights, losing even two kilograms is too much. Like him, for example, he wants to train. He wants to use, to lose <laughs> just a quarter of a kilo. Where will it come from? No way. But for a big guy, using, losing three, four kilos is okay. Mm. Try to avoid losing too much weight. Mm. Judges yeah. refer it's good to read this one here. It's just for the, it's called for the World Box Federation. But World Box Federation is part of the this association of, of international boxing commissions. So basically this one can be answered useful with any organization. But it's in directly done. So we talk there you're just making uh, so if there is no question, we will start the yeah, the boxers distribute can... the certificates because uh, we are getting late for the fights. Mm. Yeah. yeah, you give them because they've listened. If they forget what we saying or they don't ask it, at least they attended this one. Because you don't have to stay two days and you listen to something. Small thing we talk, you pick it. You go in the ring, no, that no, this round I'm losing and blah, blah, blah. I have to pull more energy. That's how it does. Mm. So, there's another thing. If you're taking a count until 10 ends, that's when it's a knockdown, knockout. Another knockout is when the referee decides that for this, the way he fell down, I cannot count. They turn the referee can lose a knockout. But others, any stoppage is, is called a technical knockout. Any stoppage is called a technical knockout. You will, you will take count eight and you stand up, but you cannot fight. It's already it's a technical knockout. It's a no knockout. It's not a knockout. It's a knockout. You must be down and take a count of ten. And a count, a count is a count is a second. Proper counting is not one, two. No. Proper counting is supposed to be like a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of the fights out. That's how the speed you count. <coughs> and uh, any question? If there's no question, let the boxers go and prepare themselves. Because I understand the fights are starting. What time do you start? <coughs>
ये मंजिल वाला देखा ना कि चलो कोई हेलो यू सी डी अंकित एम देवी आप थोड़ा सा पीछे हो जाए तो ताकि सेंटर में आ जाए थोड़ा सा पीछे पीछे डन डन वो जी देखो तो Ah. 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 Ah.